Blackmore. What's up, guys? Blackmore2323. We're back with a new episode of History Behind the Fighting Styles. Today's episode, we will be going over the fighting style history of Taken's very own version of Elliot, Leo. This episode will have a lot of interesting lore behind it and how Baji Kwan became a popular martial art not only in the East, but also the West. So sit back, grab your snacks, and relax as we take a deep dive into Baji Kwan. You win. That was a close one. What is Baji Kwan? Baji Kwan is a Chinese martial art that features explosive, short range power, and famous for its elbow and shoulder strikes. Bajikwan is also known as Open Gate 8 Extremities Fist. The major features of Baji include elbow strikes, arm fist punches, hip checks, and strikes with the shoulder. All techniques are executed with a short power developed through training. It is also known for its fast movements. Baji focuses on enlightening, entering from a longer range with distinctive charging step. The essence of Baji Kwan lies in Jin, or power issuing methods. The style contains six types of Jin, eight different ways to hit, and several principles of power usage. Most of Baji Kwan's moves utilize a one hit push strike method from very close range. The bulk of the damage is dealt through the momentary acceleration that travels up from the waist to the limb and further magnified by the charging step known as Jian Jiao. The mechanics of Jin are developed through many years of practice and Baji Kwan is known for its strong lower body training and its emphasis on the horse stance. Its horse stance is higher than that of typical long fist styles. Like other styles, there is also the arrow bow stance. Hi Julia! The one leg stance, the empty stance, and the drop stance. Fun fact, Kenji, the manga that helped popularize Baji Kwan in Japan and worldwide, it essentially created Baji Kwan's place in Japanese popular culture, which is probably known in the West in video games a lot of the times. Like iconic centerpiece of the Virtual Fighter franchise, Akira Yuki owes his existence to this manga since the creator based Akira Yuki off of the manga itself and got inspired as well from it. Elements of Baji show up in many other fighting game characters' movesets, including Taken's Paul Phoenix, yes, you heard that right, Paul Phoenix, Julia Chang, Dead or Alive's Elliot, and Street Fighter's very own Jun and Yang. This character has so much rich history within himself. With Leo having a branch style of Baji Kwan, this fighting style feels right at home with the Taken universe. I can't imagine this fighting style disappearing. So I hope we will see Leo's Baji Kwan expanded upon in future installments. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified of new uploads. I also have a community discord where we play Resident Evil Outbreak, Left 4 Dead, and many other titles together. So if you're looking for a place to hang out in, feel free to join. This is Blackmore2323. Catch you next time, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the study of Kung Fu fighting is ongoing. Don't ever hope to master all of them. So be careful.